The spring hay fever season really hitting its stride this week as tree pollens expand. Load. Yeah, I'm, I'm having some issues with all the pollen oh, this lots week. Of people are. Oh. Well, that means many folks are heading to the medicine cabinet to combat their allergies. Well, Tony Cavalier with his annual look at the spring wheezing and sneezing season. A gem of a week for outdoor fun at Ritter Park. Kids frolicking in the play area amidst the warm sunshine of spring. For Rosarian extraordinaire Casey Cyrus, the task of pampering his fledgling roses in the arid weather is a daily labor of love. All the while, trees are in a pollinating frenzy as the process of leafing out turns on their pollen-making conveyor belts. So walkers and picnickers at Ritter are keeping one hand on their cleanup as the wheezing and sneezing season has kicked into high gear. My head hurts. Uh, my nose is running constantly. You don't let it bother you. You're out here at the park, though. Well, got to get out of the house sometime. <laughs> I take an allergy pill every day. <laughs> what are your symptoms normally on a bad day? Just a runny nose, a little congestion. For Heather Brent and her pickleball pals, an ill-timed sneeze can get in the way of a cross-court paddle shot. How might a bad tree pollen day affect you on the pickleball court? Oh, uh, you know, it might interfere with a little bit of breathing, but other than that, it's fine. <laughs> so far this year, have any symptoms or? Yes, runny nose, can't breathe. Now here in mid-April, the ornamental trees in the dogwoods, they put out a little tree palm, but you know what? The predominant producer of pollens are the sugar maples, which are now leafing, and the oak trees especially. They're the dominant species of deciduous trees in our area, they're the ones that put out all the pollen. The oaks are the ones that coat our cars with the yellow oak pollen. And so until we're fully foliated in another month, we will have to watch these breezy and warm days for high tree pollination here in the heart of Appalachia. And for more on that, let's have a little lesson in the learning lab. So a little demo here on Studio 3. I'm building what's known as a cubic meter, a volume of air with boxes. A cubic meter, 39 inches by 39 inches, and by 39 inches. I kind of look at it as kind of the volume maybe of a ottoman in your living room. And what we're interested in is how many grains of tree pollen are in that volume of air, in that cubic meter, in that ottoman, if you will. Turns out if you get 100 in there, you wind up with high, tr high tree pollen counts. If you get to 500, it's very high. And these days, we're doing more than 1,000 grains of tree pollen in the cubic meter, the volume. Now, how big is a tree pollen? Well, the pinhead is about two, ouch, millimeters in diameter. And you can get 1,000 tree pollen grains on that pinhead. That's how tiny these are. So in a cubic meter, when you get to 500 and eventually 1,000 or more, and you're inhaling that air, well, you're wheezing and sneezing at this time of the year if you suffer. Of course, I'm a math mathematician. All scientists are, so we've got to draw a graph on the left-hand axis, the y-axis, pollen counts in grains per cubic meter. On the bottom axis, we've got the time stamp. These days, late February, we started with the warm weather, and we had the tree pollen level starting up. As the maples kicked in in mid March, the levels went high. Anytime you get a cold snap or rain, your level comes down. And then here in April, we're shooting way up. Why is that? Because the oaks are the predominant species out there, as we showed over at the courthouse. And the oaks put out the most tree pollen of our entire area. And then as we get into the middle of May, the levels head down. And as the levels head down, mid-May into June, we're pretty much done tree pollen season for the rest of the year. And that's my very latest on Studio 3. It's about tree pollen season here in the middle of April. And those boxes he showed, I feel like I have a box full of pollen in my head right now. <laughs> People are probably like, is that box full of medication that's going to give me some relief? I need it, yeah. yeah. Now, to cope with tree pollen, doctors recommend staying in an air-conditioned environment, whether at home or in a car. Also, remember to damp mop your head when you come inside or wash your hair, since those microscopic grains of pollen will cling to your hair. Especially true before bedtime. Yeah. And wash your clothes if you have been outside for an extended period of time. Tony did say as uh, the trees start to wane, grass mm -hmm. pollen kicks in, though, during the middle 
of May. Oh, good. Something else to look for, right? <laughs> Silver linings. No, I, you know, and yeah. the other thing is, too, how many times have we talked to Dr. Dyer about, you got to keep an eye on your pets, too. Yes. They, they can suffer like we do through, they can. through uh, allergies. Yeah. All right. Well,